All right, guys, so we're doing a first look here at the brand new or newly announced Indian FTR 1200 here at the AIM Expo in Las Vegas 2018. So first look here at the new 2019 Indian FTR 1200. This bike comes in starting at $12,999. It has a race inspired design as noted by the rear swing arm design and the tank silhouette, which is just one of the few elements that are borrowed from the FTR 750 race bike. It has a powerful 1203cc V-twin engine, which is reported to have 120 horsepower and 85 foot-pounds of low-end torque. The gas tank is strategically located under the seat to lower the center of gravity for improved handling. It comes with exclusive new Dunlop high-performance street tires with flat track inspired tread to provide precise grip and great durability on the road. And it has an inverted front suspension coupled with radially mounted dual 320mm Brembo brakes, which as you guys all know, Brembo brakes provide great stopping power. It has LED lighting, so full LED lighting, including new high output LED headlight for improved visibility. It has a fast charge USB port, which, let, which lets you easily charge your mobile devices and cruise control comes standard. Getting a bit more in depth into some of the specifications, the bike has a 43 degree lean angle. It's 73 cubic inch or 1,203 cc's, has a 12.5 to one compression ratio, an assist and slip multi-plate clutch. It is electronically fuel injected. It has a dual overhead cam, four valves per cylinder engine, the exhaust is a 2 to 1 to 2. Peak torque is reported at 85 foot-pounds at 6,000 RPM. It has a 3.4 gallon fuel capacity, 7.2 inch ground clearance, an overall length of 90 inches. It has a 26.3 degree rake and a 5.1 inch trail. Seat height is 33.1 inches and the weight of the bike with a full tank of fuel is 508 pounds. The wheelbase is 60 inch it comes with Dunlop DT3-R radial 120 70 19s on the front wheels which are a cast 19 inch by 3 and the rear tire is a Dunlop DT3-R radial 150 80 70 which sets on a rear wheel that is a cast 18 inch by 4.25. The front suspension is a 43 millimeter front fork tube diameter. It is inverted. Front travel is 5.9 inches. Rear suspension is a mono tube IFP has 5.9 inches of travel. The color for the introductory FTR 1200 is a thunder black. It comes with a two year unlimited mile warranty. The gauge on, like I said, the introductory, the standard one is a four inch analog gauge. Doesn't have any infotainment system. It does have LED lighting though. And then standard equipment is the USB fast charge port, ABS and cruise control. Now they do have the upgraded option, which is the Indian FTR 1200S. That comes in three different colors, which is the titanium metallic over thunder black pearl, the Indian motorcycle red over steel gray and the race replica which is the one that everybody seems to love because of the red subframe the s version is different price range wise it starts at fourteen thousand nine ninety nine for the titanium metallic thunder black and red over steel gray but the race replica which has the red subframe comes in starting at fifteen thousand nine ninety nine the s version does have the same amount of power the big differences are some of the electronic rider assistance and it also has a 4.3 inch ride command touchscreen gauge type also has lean angle sensitive stability control so the infotainment is a 4.3 inch ride command lcd touchscreen with bluetooth it has three ride modes sport standard and rain it has a lean angle sensitive abs stability traction and wheelie mitigation control usb fast charge port abs and cruise control all right guys, so I just spoke with a rep here at uh, Indian and uh, unfortunately they're not allowed to say anything on camera. But we're looking at a release for this uh, spring of next year, I think he was saying. And then I was asking about obviously the uh, the way that they have the exhaust on this one. So you know you've got the low lower exhaust and they have to do that because of EPA regulation. If you guys go to their uh, Instagram page, you'll see that actually SNS made one that comes up here. So you guys are gonna be able to do that. You know, if you buy it, uh, you're gonna be able to throw on a SNS like the prototype model had. Also prototype model did have a lot of uh, carbon fiber and stuff on it as well. Whenever I asked about that, he said uh, full accessory collection coming in November 6th. But yeah, specs all listed right there. Looks like a fun bike. It is very tall, as you can see by those other photos. Just going over controls, you know, you've got your uh, on off here. So that's going to be for the menu. So basically, you touch there, switches between different things. 
reservoir, brake, obviously, throttle, um, key goes right here. And then on this side, you've got your uh, pass light. So if you press and hold, yeah, so if you press and hold here, and then if you press it basically forward, you flick it out, that keeps the high beam on. And then you've got cruise control. So press in to activate that. Indicates right there, up to set, or down to set it, up to resume. Looks like some menu buttons here. I hope you sell a lot of them. Okay, so yeah, like if you use this up and down. So you basically press that up, goes to uh, between screens. And then uh, indicators here, so left indicator, right indicator, press and hold in for hazards. Yep. No hazards in the back, what? It's weird. So only hazards in the front. Press and hold in and turn off, so. How is there no indicators in the back? That doesn't make sense. Press in to cancel. Uh, horn, wonder if it works. Woo. Horn works. <laughs> Yep. All right, and then you've got a USB connection down here. <laughs> and then this is touchscreen as well, so you can go up and down through it. And then you've got basically that for a menu, gauge, phone, music, settings, and then ride modes, changeable at the touch. So you got rain, standard, sport, traction control. Pretty crazy. I had to see if it worked. <laughs> I think it scared a lot of people. <laughs> Sorry guys. Anyways, that's the uh, first look in person at the new Indian FTR 1200. So you got a couple different models. This one being the S and then you've got the base, which is here. So the colors, it does come in like more of a flake for all of them. Gas cap here. They do have the uh, suspension here on the side. So that's, uh, you know, it's more like the uh, FTR. I asked how that affected uh, handling and performance and they said, it actually uh, handles quite well. Subframe all done red on this one, which I like a lot. You got a caliper style brake in the back and dual disc front brakes, the Brembo's on the front. LED headlight. It says Indian there in the middle. If you go high beam. It's nice and brave. Anyways, that's it guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the first look. If you guys enjoy content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon as well so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button as well. If y'all like content like this, you got friends that are doing content like this, be sure to hit that share button also. Until next time, you guys ride safe out there, stay vigilant. We'll catch y'all later. Deuces.